I'm gonna swap out Vexing to get Bolas in. Hope there's no Fairy Macabre. There is not. Petal on top. You love to see it. Welcome back. We get a don't know deck today, a little welder storm, except with a twist. We're playing Jund. The don't know deck submitter would prefer to be referred to as Art Vandalay, presumably from Vandalay Industries, who is, I believe, an architect, or rather, more recently got into importing slash exporting. <laughs> if I'm remembering this Seinfeld episode directly might be mixing two episodes i don't know well what we have in front of us here is art vandalay asking a couple questions is jund worth it for veil vale? and if so what does the mana base look like so this deck is largely the same as what i was playing before um i changed up the mana base there were a couple basics no surveil land no arena of glory which is actually something i've since started playing after my last youtube video on this i went down one saga but that's about it oh and i added a bayou so we got one bayou one taiga four fetches petals mox opal it's like almost 14 green sources so that should be pretty good for veil vale. and then of course out of the board we have wear down and abrupt decay and it helps us having these green sources for the haywire might that we were already playing so the idea for the deck is you're a gamble storm deck right you're playing gamble lines of diamond echo veons burning wish can get echo basically just trying to assemble lines of diamond and echo gamble can get either or singleton and tomb this makes it so that with wish claw you can get your entomb and put something in the graveyard all instantly by the way for welder gamble can do it but if you're not hellbent doesn't necessarily go to the graveyard it's also just a fine card kind of having like a fifth tutor for echo i guess ninth if you count in tomb or 11th if you count wishclaw one thing that is a bit of a bummer is only having two wishclaw in fact given how, just how many green sources we have i think i'm going to go down to two opals uh, since going to Jund, we don't have the artifact land, so I think it's going to be a lot harder to leverage Opal. And Wishclaw is just so darn effective with Welder. It's a card that is responsible for often assembling Bolas to Citadel. So, aside from the usual Burning Wish and Gamble Storm stuff, we have Citadel. So there's all sorts of tricks you can do with Welder to get this card in play. Of course, if you already have it in hand, if you have a Lion's Eye Diamond, get it right to the graveyard, swap out one of your artifacts with Welder. It is a concern. We're going to have more difficulty having real estate for Welder now that we don't have artifact lands, but it should be okay. Or you can Entomb for Citadel, or you can get it with Gamble. You really want to get a Welder into play. Or just have the usual Busted Storm stuff. We've got Pier out of the sideboard. And with Saga Tokens, we got Boots, and Boots is also just quite good with Welder. We have Boots in play, that means Welder isn't a dead draw, which is pretty important for a Storm deck. To not draw a 1-mana one 1-1 one -one that has no text. Um, Arena of Glory is also a card that can achieve that. If it's in play, it might seem benign, but if we draw Welder, it would go right through the roof real quick. And then of course we got the tech from last time, Painter which is good against Eldrazi, and since we are a Saga deck and a Tutor deck, you might as well play the Grindstone with it. We can bring this in against against Painter, and we can just, if we're bringing these three Painters in, we'll play it against Eldrazi too. Why not? But that's about it. 
We should be able to leverage Vexing Bobble a bit better, thanks to Veil of Summer. Let's see how it plays out. We'll see in round one. Right, here we go, round one against Savantis. We're on the play. And is pretty decent. Play out Badlands, go LED. Play Vexing. And we'll pass. Later Nexus. Could be Mystic Forge, could be Eldrazi, could be Jewel. Hmm. Pretty good draw. You know what? Let's assume they're not Jewel. And spin it. Make red and blue. Spin the wheel. Sweet. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not have lethal. Lava Spur Boots are kind of free. The turns on Opal. Could make goblins, but I think I'll just spin it. Less boring. Spin it to win it. Mmm. It's not bad. Welder or Bobble? Go Welder. And we will pass. Actually, I take it back. It is pretty bad. I do like being able to put Welder into play, though. Alright, so it looks like it's 12 post. We could get Karned. Oh. I like that. Sweet. Another Welder. So let's go Saga. Vexing. Make red. Crack Vexing. Ooh. Now we're cooking. Okay, we can go up to five, six. We can play Welder. Go to four. Haste it. Two. One. Swap. Get LED. No, I get... I get Entomb. And then we get Bolus in. Okay. So Dark Rit. Dark Rit. Do I even have to play the other Welder yet? No. No, I do not. Um, this does give them the Wish Claw, though. We can swap the Wish Claw back in if we do play Welder. So I'm going to play Welder. The Wish Claw. Unreal. Okay. Loot. How cute. So swap it out. Draw a card. Ball therapy. I'm gonna cast that. Karn. They did not have a Karn. Hmm. I guess I gotta flash it back. I think we have to hit crop rotation. Yeah, they don't have that. Name crop rot. Then we'll equip here and pass. They can't cast once upon a time. They can't cast anything as of right now. Gamble's very good. We can make a bolus. I go red, cast veil, go hellbent, gamble, bolus, weld, bolus in for opal. Land on top to fetch land, that's nice. Cast burning wish. <laughs> Battle on top, sweet. Um, either Tendrils or Shattering Spree. We get Tendrils. Play the Petal, I'll play another Petal, sweet. Uh, we'll fetch here. I think Surveilling is actually worth it. Leave that on top. Cast it. Another Petal. Shattering Spree. Red. LED is okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna hold priority. Now we have two tendrils in our deck. Um, I'm gonna leave the LED. Wow. Let's go. Hmm. Actually, just gonna gamble for tendrils. Sweet. Metal. Mox opal. Black. Mox opal. Black. Mana. Mana. Dead. Did we do it? We did it! Sweet. Disruptor Flute, huh? Play Abrupt Decay. Does not kill Karn. Grab Chaos Defiler. And a Braid. Let's cut the Vexings. Probably one Welder. Because if we have multiple Welders and then they play a Flute, that would be pretty, pretty bad. Okay. And is aggressive. 
Limmer post vaccine. Yep. 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 Veil. Don't hate that. We're gonna surveil. And next turn we should be able to pop off pretty hard. It will fetch raucous theater. Oh. Um. Okay. Value. Go veil. Yep. Hmm. Go writ, writ, pedal, pedal. Don't get trapped. Spirit guide. Spinning. Sweet. Oof. This is so bad. Four lands. All right. I will pass. That was brutal. Vexing is fine. Cloud post, sure. Hmm. This is going to be tough, but here we go. Oh, it looks like we did it. Can't be countered. Play foothills. Get bad lands. And spin it. This does not do it. Now this opal and pass. We're getting a lot closer, though, I'll say that. But we're probably about to get carned. Yep. Four, five, six. Can't kill Karn. I can empty, but I don't see that doing doing anything. Oh, Defiler. Right. Four, five, six, five. Okay. We're saying there's a chance. Dark Rit. Gamble. No! Oh, come on. Burning Wish. And we just get Lattice next turn. Alright, on to game three. The Haywire Mite's not bad either. We cut Lava Spur Boots. Yes, whoa. Holy shit. Um, doesn't like fully work with Arena. Because it's going to come into play tapped. On a turn one card. But we got some Gamble stuff here. Let's spin it. Spin it to win it. Blue, red, ring. Three, four, five, six, seven. They might be dead, but I have to play out Chrome Mox. All right, we got a chance here. Nice. Turn one, them. Damn. Unless they got a trap. That was hot. They have a veil. They're just messing. Yeah, they said GG. GG's. Nice, a turn one. 1-0. One -oh. See you round two. Hey everyone, thanks for making it this far. Just wanted to thank everybody. And if you're looking for more, show you where you can find that. If you go to the description below, you can find all of my links. If you go further down in the comments, you can also find my links for bring you to my Patreon, various tiers for Discord access, early access, sideboard guides, donation decks, coaching sessions. You can also check out the podcast within those links, as well as my Twitch where I do most of my content. You can see the commands that you can use in the chat. Let's say you do Dono. You're wondering how to get a link, how to do it. it tells you right here. And the members Discord is within the Storm, MTG Storm community. And of course, it's always going to help if you hit the like and subscribe. So thanks again. Keep storming, y'all. All right, here we go. Round two against SD Bob Pliskin. We're on the draw. Our hand is probably good enough. They, mull they mulliganed once. Bloodstain Meyer Plateau. Painter. A game one, turn one. Canonist. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, I think I just want to surveil. I mean, I could go Chromox imprint, play Grid, play Opal, play Welder, but I don't really have anything to weld. I don't really want to imprint an Echo, Rowan Welder. That sucks. We go to 18. Let's surveil. Burning Wish. Yeah, I'll take that. Go Chrome Mox. Imprint Echo. 
Play grid. Play opal. Play welder. And pass it over. They're going to get in for two. No blocks. We go down to 15. Saga, sure. Nothing. Okay. Another welder. Play Burning Wish. Get Shattering Spree. And play out the boots. Pass it over. Game is weird. Very weird. They play land, they have two cards in hand still. Engineer. Okay. Or painter. Sure. Uh, I guess I could have swapped it right there. Prevent damage. In one card, or the odds it's Pyroblast. I'll take the bet. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, Spree is only so helpful. Go Welder, equip a lot of Spur Boots. What a weird game. Oh, they couldn't Pyroblast anyways because we have Grid. Well, they could have on their turn blown something up. So now what? They can Needle Welder and then they can use Engineer? I believe the answer to that question is yes. As it currently stands, they could do that. Interesting. Now they don't have enough mana though. I guess if their their last card in hand is mana, this swaps those. Should have used this one first. That was a mistake. Big mistake. Not used to playing painter mirrors, which is essentially what this has turned into. But yeah, they don't need the mana. As they have the other welder. Once they blast my thing, they don't have to get needle. Yeah, that gets us. Okay, well, we have a grindstone, a haywire might, and abrupt decay, and a braid, and chaos defiler. I like all this. I don't need vexing. Veil is cute. Probably don't need it. If they make everything blue, it can counter pyroblast on the stack, or if it's targeting a permanent. Let's run it like this. Yeah, that was a punt. Okay, this hand does nothing. This hand is pretty good. See if we can turn one. I'll try to go for another LED. There's definitely some risk involved. We could play around trap by just going LED land echo. Um, either way, we're going to play into spirit guide pyroblast. But by gambling for another LED... Possible gamble hits Echo directly. We walk into a fairy macabre or something. It kept on seven. All right, let's go LED. Badlands. Gamble. Sweet. Just got to beat Trap here. And spin it. Let's see if I can get Welder. Hit Wooded foot Foothills, that's fine. All right, not bad. It's a lot of work to go land welder. <laughs> oh, shit. We got an abrade for that. We have a bolus if we want it. But uh, we give them a wish claw. Let's kill their welder. And pass. Not worth attacking them. Having welder up is pretty powerful. Welder is still alive. Found an artifact. All right, let's go Petal, Dark Red, Wish Claw. Do we want to YOLO it? Yeah. Let's do it. Entomb, Bolus, no Fairy Macab? No Fairy Macab. Gamble. Old Control. If there's a Dark Ritual on top, you can cast it. All right, what are we gambling for? Is this a Braid? Wow. Okay, I mean, we get it back next turn. Not the end of the world. They do have Wish Claw now, though. I'm gonna go for LED. We missed. Alright. What do you got for me? Target Artifact. Change the target of target spell or ability with a single target. 
One or two target creatures can't block this turn. Hmm. A weird card. They also have an LED. Really? I haven't seen LED in a painter deck. Uh, probably over a year at this point. And here we are, we gave them a Wishclaw, and now they have an LED. Didn't do anything with it, though, huh? Okay. Well. Also gonna get an LED. Lay out this Chrome Mox. I didn't have to imprint. Maybe I shouldn't have. Go for Bolus. They gonna stop this time? Are they trying to use their Wishclaw? No. Yes. Yep. They didn't read it. Card would be insane if you could use it on the opponent's turn. A land, huh? At least it's a fetch land. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. I cast the Filer first. I have so much mana. Let's do it. Get my own Wishclaw. Hold control, cast Gamble. Let it go. Get Echo. Another Gamble. Oh, I want that. I don't think I want to get another good card, though. Let's just get a land out of the deck. Fetch land. There's Burning Wish. Cast that. We have three, so we can Peer. Peer seems pretty good to me. Let's uh, clear off the top. Get Raucous Theater. Leave that one on top. Play it. Cast Peer. Draw 16. Pretty good, pretty good. Petal. Mox Opal. Um, don't currently have enough. Full Control. Burning. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sure, we'll get another Echo. LED. They have Bolt. Eh, they would have bolted Welder. Red. Yes, Burning Wish. Easy game. <laughs> that was anything but easy. Crazy. Alright, let's resubmit. I wanted to test the Arena of Glory, but... I think it's probably just barely not good enough. There's, of course, the fact that you can't... Like, it's not a turn one card. But I think I'd rather just have... Uh, another dual land or fetch. We don't have blue lands. We do get to surveil and a braid's pretty good. Rhinestone, okay. Opal. Sure. That's pretty good. Alright. We're gonna surveil. They're just like holding up blast. Whatever that other card was. Hmm. Yeah. It's close. That was a good one. So we're gonna hold up a braid. Otherwise we die to Soul Land plus Painter. It's gonna be a Karn. Oh. That's fine. Now they get the Painter. Don't think we wait around. Kill the Grindstone. Whoa. Three, five, seven, nine, seven, four. I can Bolus with Wishclaw. I think I would rather wait, though. Get an LED, so I have more mana. Yeah. I don't want to play Grid yet. I don't want them to know. Here comes Painter. Yep. They need blue. They have three cards. No attacks. As if I'm going to block. I'm going to blast my Saga. Okay. Yeah, we could get punished here. Welder. Yeah, I wouldn't say we're in a better spot. Alder could change that. Whatever. They usually don't play a ton of grindstones. Usually on two. Let's hope they don't have one just like in hand. Land. Needle. Fine. Yeah, they name Welder. They have one card. Okay. Gamble. Man. I'm just going to play out Wishclaw. It's just so risky to go all in. And give them a Wishclaw. If I had like a line to peer, I would. Alright, just passing. Wishclaw is in. Another Wishclaw. 2, 4, 6, 8. 
This is wild. Play another one. We'll start attacking. Potentially tendrils them. They bolt it. Okay. LED, sure. And a monkey. But now they're empty handed. We go to 16. Oh man. Rit. 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 LED. Um. Gamble. LED. Miss. Whatever. Uh. Go grid. Make blue. Sure. Activate. Get LED. The LED. Big mana. Activate. Get Wishclaw. Yes, Wishclaw. Activate. And get him with the tendies. I guess if I made red mana, I could have even gotten Burning Wish and gotten all ten drills. But it's alright. They did. Oh my god, please don't put me through this painter nonsense again. Please. <laughs> oh, we got there. See you in round three. Alright, here we are. Round three against Phantoms. And our hand is fine. We'll keep it. Alright, it's not Painter. Let's hope it's not Doomsday. Let's go right for Saga. I think we're going to want to get to Lion's Eye Diamond ASAP. They play Flooded Strand, Brainstorm. With the fetch land, I feel like this is doomsday. Otherwise, you don't play a land first, because you might hit wasteland. So use the research desk. Vexing, sure. Get a bad lands. I'm gonna play a welder. And this might allow us to get two LEDs going. I really want to draw another land, or petal, or chrome mox. Alright, another brainstorm, another fetch. Fatal push, okay. Fine with me. Opal. Okay, let's see if we can go hard. Get Lion's Eye Diamond. It's dark red. The Opal. Vexing. Wow. I don't wish I had played grid instead. I think I still am. Now we can echo. And hopefully we hit some gas, but we're probably going to be passing. Play out Arena. Play another Vexing. Okay, well, let's hope we're not dead. Yeah, this is definitely Doomsday. Mm, there it is. I don't think they can win on this turn with Vexing in play, though. They have no land drop. And then I think we can just kill them. Is there going to be at 9? Like, the fact they didn't have Dark Ritual, I think, saves us here. Samio, sure. Draw mana. It's not terrible. A Dark Rit. Saga. Crack a Bobble. Oh, yeah. Easy game. Easy game. Crack another Bobble. LED. LED. Another Grid, why not? And Burning Wish for the Tendies. Sweet, sweet Tendies. Twelve drills. Or six drills. Alright. Grindstone can be cheeky. It's DDFT. Doomsday Frog Tamio. I'm gonna cut boots. Vex and Bubble saved her bacon that game. Hmm. I'll keep it. Yeah. I figured we would get Thought Seized, but typically mulliganing does not help against Thought Seize. A lot of mana here. Don't hate that. I'm still going to play these out. Maybe I shouldn't have. We saw Tamio. I guess I think the Tamio build doesn't really play Vexing, but likely won't matter. Goblin Welder. No. Close. Research desk, not bad. The Taiga. A desk. Activate desk. LED or veil. Probably LED. So we're not going to have much time. We know we have tendrils. They can't really doomsday pass. They draw a card off a frog. 
ponder a misty bench ponder again cameo brainstorm oh boy that was aggressive uh they know how much mana we have taunt sees okay took the tendrils interesting don't know that i would have done the same but i'll take it research desk again whoa Two, four, six, nine. We have exactly enough for a peer. Gets dazed. I just want to echo. We got a force. They should actually force that. We did not. Rit, rit. Unless it's force of negation, then it makes sense. I'm going to use frog. Yep, that's going to do it for me. Go next. All right, we are on the play. We will keep. Let's go Rockus Theater. Bottom Taiga. Play Welder. Play Pedal. And pass. They were F6. Cameo. Sure. Another land. Saga. Research Desk. Use it. LED is pretty good. I'm just going to play it. And. Probably swap research desk with pedal. Heck of a lot better than paying three to use it. Essentially paying one. And it's reusable. Ponder. Alright, end step. Get that in. Uh, grindstone. Grindstone, grindstone, grindstone. Yeah, that could be helpful. To use research desk. That's attendees. These are both really bad. Guess I'll grab tendrils. Bayou. A grindstone. Pass it over. God, if we could just find a gamble. Run in tomb. Dark red. Dark red. Doomsday. Okay. <laughs> we could just have one more turn. They put a brainstorm into their hand. I feel like all they have to do is make it so that when they brainstorm, they don't get grinded out. Okay, there's an edge of bottom here. I think we have to let them brainstorm. There's just, there's no way that they set it up in such a way that they lose to an immediate grind. We grind them now. They chose which two cards are on top. That would also be bad. Oh, Okay. And now they have two blue and a thoracal. Oh, they left it on top. <laughs> uh, alrighty then. We got them. <laughs> With 3 0. See you in round four. Alright, here we are in round four against, uh, I'm not gonna pronounce that name, but we're against them. We're on the draw. Um, I'll keep this. Mountain Petal. Gotta be Painter. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, this is going to get all grindy again. Fine. I think we go Surveil first. Grid. It is decent against Blast. Yeah, I mean, our, our game plan is likely going to be trying to resolve Echo, so I think we actually want the Grid. There's the Painter. Alrighty, so they're probably going to hit the Grid with Blast. Or they can let it go and then just blast my Saga. Would probably be a better play. But I would imagine they hit Grid. It's a little scary. Not nearly as much so with Vexing in play. You know, blow up my land? That's bold. Okay. Um, let's go for Badlands here and just pass. They're definitely behind, but they're low on resources. Not that it takes them much to, uh, to get there. I don't think we're beating a grindstone if they have it. So I had a feeling this might happen. I considered playing foothills. Oh, and they have a grindstone. I mean, yeah, we're not. This is unlikely to happen here. We gotta go faster. Yeah, I figured that might happen. They blow up our land. We could have played foothills, but we have other lands that we have to play. And I wanted to make room for Saga. Another Vexing, that's fine. Bracket, that makes sense. Oh. Probably means we're dead. 
Hmm. There are 20. Yeah, there isn't actually a draw that works here, or a way to get around this vexing. And that's the problem with being on the draw. All right, abrupt decay. Of course, Veil Summer will change that some amount of the time. Abrupt decay, wear down. I'm sorry. Wear down. Well, Mind Grindstone. Haywire Might. Defiler. Trim an Opal. Cut. E Cabal Therapy. It's actually one of these grids. Well, it's tough to say. I don't think I boarded this heavily last time we played against it. I played the last three matches last night, and now it's the next day for these, and I forget what I did. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're going hard. Yeah, I'm convinced we should not be playing Arena of Glory. I wanted to test and make sure. So we're going to go fetch, get bad lands, play LED... So we're going to gamble for another LED. It would be nice if we can also play the Opal out afterwards, but I'm not going to play it beforehand. I want my odds to be best. If it hits Echo directly, I will not play the Lion's Eye Diamond, I don't think. Otherwise you play into Fairy Macabre. They don't necessarily know what we're doing, though, so maybe I will. If it hits Echo, I will. Nope, oh, just hit LED directly. Actual worst case scenario. Oh man. This could still get there. So, Petal, we can go up to five. Wish Claw to three. Then that turns on Opal. Oh, we'd have to play Haywire Might actually. So to two. And back to three because Opal's on. And then activate to two LED. That's short. That's one mana short. I mean, you could relay with all that, but then we give them a wish claw, and our hand is actually just pretty good. So I'm gonna pass. Pretty much anything they can do, we can interact favorably with it. Welder, sure. Research desk. Now we have three, five, six. We can do stuff. I'm just not sure that stuff is good enough. I would ignore the welder. Let's play out. Research desk and haywire might. That would actually be the best. Could have played haywire might and then like cast a braid on welder. That would have been pretty good too. Needle. Probably on the haywire might. That's fine. Looks like they don't have much else. Welder is pretty good. Hmm. Start by attacking. Could definitely make a difference when you're trying to tendrils your opponent. We could just Wish Claw. I think I want to hold up a Braid. Could have also played Welder, like a Braid Welder first, and then play our own. It's not a big deal that Petal's gone. That may have been better, honestly. But this seems fine. Let's kill this Welder. Untap. Natural Tendrils. I mean, it's not great. But, not the worst. Let's play Welder. And... Bushclaw. Loot. Okay. That's pretty good. That was Shattering Spree. Back for another one. We can also just get Peer. Like, get Peer and Pass type of thing. We have two Dark Rits. Saga. Painter. So that's not good. We do have Grindstone somewhere in the deck. Hmm. We can swap Haywire Might with Petal. Get Shattering Spree. Um. Nah. I'm just gonna go get, uh, here. We can actually cast it next turn thanks to Welder. And, uh, I can use Veil of Summer to save myself if we really need to. And go swap in Petal. Cast Veil. And they go to target me. I think it's worth it to have a gamble on the sideboard of this deck. In a lot of spots where it's it would have been good. Now that I've played this deck enough. They did flood out a bit, huh? Alright, we're gonna swap Haywire Might with Petal. I believe we gain two as well. I think this counts as dying because it just goes to the graveyard, yeah. The same thing with uh Defiler. Okay. I guess the problem is Pyroblast, huh? But we do have Veil. We can beat one blast. Hmm. 
Yeah, because I mean, if they have, like, Blast can beat Veil anyways. This way, now they'll have to have two Blasts. Let's go Dark Red. Dark Red. Here. Wait. What are we talking about? Blue or Black spells are abilities your opponents control. Okay. We're not going to fizzle our own peer with their own Veil. <laughs> that would be funny. Right. I can't imagine they don't at least have one blast. Well, let's hope they don't have two. We will pop out this wish claw that doesn't work. No fairy macabre, that's good. That's a reason to have done this before. Fail. Are we in? We're in. Beautiful. 22 cards coming up. Sweet. Opponent is also happy about it. Love to see that. <laughs> uh, we'll just imprint whatever. Dark red, that'll, that'll, I guess I'll gamble for, well, grid's not going to help here, actually. Wasn't really a reason to do that, but we will do it anyways. Uh, if I can get another grid, then I can play around trap. I don't have the mana, though. Go Saga, get him with tendies. We have the Cabal Therapy, I could therapy trap, but I cut it. I think it's right against them still. Alright, and we still haven't shown Grindstone, so that's good. Um, yeah. Keep this. Saga, Vexing, coming. Oh, yeah. Entomb. That's really good with Welder. Um, yep. Let's get a Badlands. Play Welder. I mean, it's worth noting this card also really screws with what they're trying to do. It feels like we're the better equipped welder deck. Painter, sure. Um, having said that, we could be dead. I can't really get an artifact into play that is useful. This vexing is really screwing us up here. Just look at the list real quick. Haywire might, but I can't, like, use it. Yeah, gamble does not help. Can go get Veil, but it doesn't doesn't do anything. Gotta hope they don't have another mana. I think that's the only option here. So given that, I think we play Saga. And I think we play Grid. And we pass. That's one mana. That's a grindstone. And that's mana. Okay, so we get grinded. Is there anything I can do here? Before my draw stat, I can do like double welder stuff. I think I can even wind up grinding them, but I can't make them draw a card. Defiler doesn't help. Can't cast Echo instantly. I think I'm just gonna grind them just to show them what's up. Hmm. <clears throat> then say GG. If I can find it, where is it? Oh, there it is. I think they're trying to figure out why I haven't scooped. Because I want to get grindy. Are you going to blast my welder? Actually, I don't even think I can grind them. Now that I think of it. I'm one mana shy. I was thinking I can weld twice, but... I won't have the artifacts to do it. Yeah, bummer. Alright, we fall to 3-1. In the final round. Alright, here we go. Final round. All I ask is that we don't play against Painter again. I don't want to get super grindy like that again. <laughs> yeah, here's an example of why Arena sucks. It's just way too often a tap land. Hmm. Also a reason why green can get awkward in this deck, because it makes Chrome Mox a lot worse. But the real problem here is definitely Arena of Glory. Let's play it. Play out Mox Opal. I don't really think I can afford to play Chrome Mox. I want to play my Welder, and getting green here is not going to be good. Get Vexing Bobbled, it's not going to be good, but... Polluted Delta? Actual Factual Delver. Wow. Didn't see that coming. We draw LED, that's a great draw. That is a very good draw. Let's play it. Play Chrome Mox. And... Just play Welder. And now if they have, like, Fatal Push, we can use Veil. Otherwise, I could have, like, played Wishclaw, and if they counter it, it's whatever, because we have Welder, but it's pretty disastrous if they also have something to kill Welder. We really need Welder here. 
Booyah. No force? One time? No force one time. Another fatal push. Okay. Well, looks like I get to draw a card. Pretty good one, too. Now, I wouldn't say they necessarily don't have a force, right? It makes sense to use a second fatal push instead. They get to save a card, save their force, where we get to draw a card. That's a reasonable trade-off. Question is, do we make constructs? I th think so. I mean, we have some really powerful combo stuff to do, but it's tough to pass this up, considering the board state. Can definitely change with a frog. But, I don't know, these are going to be pretty big constructs. We can even get boots if we want. If they miss a land drop here, they are in trouble. They did not. I think our constructs are actually bigger than frog. Yep. They can make it a 4-5. These will be bigger, and they're going to be coming in hot. Let's see here. Red. Hmm. Yeah, I think we make constructs. I was really hoping to draw mana. I can't really suit up boots unless I want to dump my whole hand. I think it's just another LED. Alright, get in with a 6x. You're gonna chump with their Delver. That's interesting. Oh. Huh. You're really nice if we could draw land. They're jumping the frog. Okay. Land or dark rit would be really good. Jumping the frog. Yeah, they gotta they gotta go up on cards so that their frog gets bigger. Um, and they gotta find, like, Fatal Push or something. They already used two. Another frog? Okay. Still not big enough. If they have a Fatal Push... No, because then they have to go down a card. They can still get in. We did draw a Dark Ritual. That is extremely good. I'm gonna cast it. I think they're just dead this turn. We play Grid. We play Wishclaw. We get in for 8, they go to 10. Uh, I guess I'm one shy. No, I can... Yeah. I'm gonna wind up one shy. Oh. Disappointing. Disappointing. Well, let's get in. I don't see them winning this anyways. They go to 10. Yeah, we could put them down to 2, but then we give them a wish claw. You'd probably still win, even if you do that, but... I don't think we're supposed to. There's just no way for them to get out of this. Certainly not in the main deck. We would have to, like, Petty Theft Grid and Tomb Reanimate, but they're playing Delver. They're not playing... Yeah. Sweet. They're just playing Tempo. Demir Delver. Null Rod's a problem, so I will play Abrupt Decay. I don't know that a Braid will be good enough. Defiler... I'm going to trim the Lava Spur Boots. Probably an Opal. I'd say one thing we have going for us is they have to keep, like, Fatal Pushes in for Welder, which makes it a lot harder for them to board. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. So, I believe we go turn one fetch. No. Hmm. You gotta find another colored source. I'll probably just go turn one Saga, honestly. We'll see. If I draw another land, I'll probably go fetch. They mold to five. Go land. Thoughtseize. Bummer. There goes my gamble. Eh, it's okay. Ugh. That's not. Go fetch. Play out these LEDs. And pass. Now it is awkward. I want to surveil, but I don't necessarily want black and red. I might still do it, though. Yeah. I think the surveil is pretty important here. Yeah, I don't want another veil. Especially after I just took myself off of green. Burning Wish. Well, I'm going to play Saga. And I am going to cast that. I will get Echo. And pass. Hope to dodge Wasteland. Hope to draw land. Be incredible if we could draw a green source not get wastelanded as well. Typically a tall order, but they did mold a five. Bummer. Okay. Still have our colored source, so that's nice. Still really powerful if we hit a green source. Technically a green source. 
Um, yeah, let's therapy here. Enforce will. Hope they don't have force negation. Consign to memory. That's fine with me. Could consign this if they want. Um, we have to make blue. Probably make red to go with it. You'd get black by imprinting tendrils. Then I'd have to use burning wish to kill them. However, if I get green, then the next turn I'll have all my colors. It's also nice for Veil vale moving into this sequence as well. Alright, we have two red, a blue, we have a green. We have a land drop too, so we're likely to get the black that we need. Yep. Um, no protection. Could try to find it. The gamble. It's dark red. Gamble for Veil. Vale. Veil, of course, does have issues with consign, but I think we'll eventually get there. Grid could be better. Yeah, let's go for grid. That works for me. Use a black. And if I use this gamble, I won't have red. Although I can't use it because I need to cast the gamble. We'll probably get red with LED. Yes, I'll use this black. Maybe they have a daze and they're trying to figure out if it's worth it. No, I'm just trying to figure out what to pitch. That's a bummer. Well, we're going. Can't stop, won't stop. Hmm, we could stop, though. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. But wait, we could stop. It is nice having this saga. You know what? I'm going to cast it, but not use the LED. What do I do if they daze? We did just pinch all of our colors, too. Surgical? On gamble. Okay. Interesting. Goodbye, gambles. Good thing I didn't pass. But wishing I cracked the LED. I can do it now, but the the bigger problem is the fact that we don't have access to all of our colors. We had a nice spread going. Now I think I still just leave it. Seems like it'll be a waste at this point, even if this does resolve. Whoa. Don't hate this. I'll pass. Very interesting. We have a lot of good draws, too. Any protection would be great. We do get to flip. Yeah, that sucks for us. I mean, we have the answer to it, and we can cast it, but... That's assuming it doesn't get countered. Null Rod, huh? Okay. I like that. Go Mire. Go Dark Rit. Go Lions of Diamond. Let's go Vexing. Looks like we're in. Go Dark Rit. Let's fetch. Sure. Let's fetch Taiga. And represent Veil. They would have to have Hydro Blast. Exactly. I guess we didn't need to fetch. That's only really for like days is the consideration, but we have Vexing in play, so I just shouldn't have fetched yet. But it's fine. We're going to be able to fix our colors with these Lines of Diamonds. They just... Oh, man. It's borderline infuriating. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So if we... The, the out here is Welder. Because we can haste it with Arena of Glory. Get that glory that we so desperately need. Um, and then we can swap the Defiler back in. Kill Null Rod. And pop off. Bruh. I mean, no reason to not just cast the Brainstorm first. Alright, we go to 12. Nether Goyf. Come on, Welder. Let's go Welder. Abrupt Decay would have been fantastic. Wow. I feel like we're just being laughed at right now. <laughs> um, but at any rate, that gives us more outs. Now any green source can do it. Well, non-artifact. We've got three fetch lands and a bayou. That's four sources. Uh, technically, Burning Wish isn't out. Uh, that's fine. Because they can't activate it. The Welder will still work as an out. Come on, baby. We got so many outs. That's not one of them. Technically, not dead yet. Not quite dead yet. We go to two. Okay. That two. Also goes back to cracking that fetch, right? We would have still had it. And then Abrupt Decay would have gotten there. 
Although, no, we wouldn't have drawn Abrupt Decay, or probably not. Because without fetching, our deck would have been different. Tragic. Alright. The final game. Been a pretty epic league so far. This deck is so much fun. Alright, here we go. I like multiple Welder Hands. With an Entomb? Sign me up. I'd love to go double Welder. But then I have no artifacts for Welder. Just want to build a house. Alright, they mulligan to five. We've got a chance. Let's go get Badlands. Play out Petal. Play Welder. Alright, Welder's in. Hopefully we don't get Thought Seized. We get Thought Seized. <laughs> uh, yeah, they take Entomb. We draw Badlands. Another Welder out. And I will attack. Alright, we have a ton of live draws here. We can ponder. Our life draws and saga is a problem for him too. Then we can just start going crazy with research desk. Nether goif. That's fine. Any gambles? Echo. Not yet useful. Really looking to dodge wasteland here. Wasteland would be really bad for us. Rah. Come on. All right. Jeez. This deck is so stupid. Alright, what do we got? Big money? Huh. Alright. Let's play Frontside Echo around days. Make blue. Weld the construct out. I guess I didn't have to do that yet. I do it instantly. Yeah, that was not necessary. May have been able to keep that. Wow, didn't even pitch the cards to the frog. Um... So now I want to play around uh, Daze here. Although they could Daze the artifact that I play, but we got to gamble for LED. But we can make a house here. Nice. Oh, and it hit Bolas directly. That's funny. Oh. Let's play Vexing. Wow. I'm going to swap out Vexing to get Bolas in. Hope there's no Fairy Macabre. There is not. Battle on top. You love to see it. Gamble. Gamble, gamble, gamble. I'm gonna hold control and cast it. Ooh. Hold control. And cast it. Okay. Guess we entomb another echo. I already have an echo. Maybe I just entomb a land. So I don't hit a land. Less likely to. Yeah, it's probably better. And anyways, but we have Gamble to shuffle that. We're gambling for Dark Rit here. Yeah, I think I like Dark Rit. Nice, we hit. There's a land on top. Let's go Dark Rit, Wishclaw. Um, we get Tendrils, we don't have enough mana. No guarantee we'll hit it with this Bolus either. I think I'm supposed to Echo. Let's do that. Oh, man. Echo on top. That's crazy. Uh, it's Dark Rit. Hmm. I think we play another Wishclaw. And hold priority. Cast that go. What you gonna do? They're gonna force it. Okay. What does that mean? We can play this Vexing, but then I'm kind of stuck. We can Wishclaw for LED. And also pass. No, we're gonna keep going. Push Claw, Lines of Diamond, new top card. It's a banger. Let's cast it. It resolved. Sweet. Play Lines of Diamond. Also resolved. Now we get him with the Tendies. Right? It's not my graveyard. Wow. What a finish. That was like the ideal game to the finish. Just getting a bolus into play and going to town with it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, so Art Vandalay had mentioned uh, a few things. In fact, let me... I'm just going to pull up his email. So he was wondering if dropping Artifacts Land is worth it for this green splash. It certainly makes things awkward. Um, I know the list you gave me had two basics, a swamp and a mountain, 
I don't think you can leverage that if you're trying to play Veil of Summer. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing the Arena of Glory, of course. D4, 5. I would definitely play the Surveil Land. I would definitely play a Bayou and a Taiga. Uh, you could even play Commercial District instead of Arena of Glory. But probably not. The 3 Saga seems fine. You can go 3 or 4. I mean, you can make Arena of Glory a Saga. Um, but there were certainly points where we had Saga and I would rather have a colored source. So you can also just play an artifact land. Like, it's pretty free to do that sort of thing. Play one or two artifact lands. It'll help your artifact count. But the fetches are nice with Bolas. You get the colors that you need. You'd probably be more inclined to just either play another fetch. And then you're playing five and five with fetchables and fetches, which is fine most likely but yeah we definitely felt a little bit the lack of artifacts for welder we made it work but there were a couple weird spots overall i'd say veil summer felt pretty good i we only drew it so much and then there's going to be a non-zero amount of the time that you can't cast it or it makes your chrome mox really weird you could cut chrome mox because you don't have that many imprintables, and you're playing technically four different colors with Echo, so Chromox is oftentimes just not going to be good. And overall, all of that makes Mox Opal worse. I think you had three when you sent it to me, and um, two might even be too much. You might just want one to get off a of Saga. You probably want a black, one black and one red artifact land. I think that would be the most reasonable thing. You could always just go up a land to 14. It's not fantastic for when you're wheeling or with Bolas. But the deck is very mana hungry. Like land drop hungry too. When you're running three colors, you gotta you gotta produce those colors. And lands are pretty much the best way to do that. LED does it for us too. When we have fast hands. I don't think a ball therapy is worth it. For what it's worth. You're not playing other discard. You're pretty much never going to gamble for it. It's also not spectacular with Vexing Bobble. I would probably just make it a Thought Seize. Maybe only play two Veils. You definitely want one to be able to get off a Wish Claw. And I think having at least two makes sense. Otherwise, it's not even worth doing this. Maybe it's not worth doing unless you're running three, but I don't think I would play Cabal Therapy. I think you would send it over with only two Wish Claw Talisman. I think you need at least three. Like, I agree that you want some discard, uh, but just having one and it being Cabal Therapy is super thin. So cuts for me would be Arena of Glory, Chrome Mox, the other Opal, the Cabal Therapy. If you don't want to go up a land, then you would probably cut a bad lands. Play two artifact lands. Then you have four and four on the fetches. Hmm. You might just want to cut a fetch and play three fetches. Actually, at that point, keep the two bad lands. So cut Arena, Glory. Glory out. Fetch land out. Play a Vault of Whispers. And a Great Furnace. A Cabal Therapy. One of the Opals. Play two Thoughtseize. The thing about Chromox is it is a nice artifact for Welder. So, I don't know. I mean, there's no 100% or clear answer as to what to do with the Jund version. This is the problem with going to a third color. There's just too many things that we're trying to fit in and do. And once you go to Rakdos, you can just lean into some of those decisions. I think it's pretty low cost to just play one Veil. And then you could play some more Discard. You could even play some more in Tomb. You know, Tomb allows you to go faster, get more Echoes, and it is better than Gamble for your Welder. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this deck. I, I would say, ultimately, I don't think the deck gets better by running 3 Veil of Summer. That's just my opinion. But that's about going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much, Art Vandalay from Vandalay Industries. Good luck with your importing slash exporting and architecture. <laughs> I appreciate the Dono deck. This was uh, This was a blast. You know me. You know I love this deck. Happy to see some more people digging it. And I don't know, let me know in the comments if you got ideas for it. It's There's a lot of moving parts. 
Um, I'm not playing this deck every day, you know, every now and then I go back to it and do a little bit of tweaking, so there's certainly uh, plenty of room for exploration. Not the card, but well, you could. Exploration would be good with uh, Bolas, <laughs> but not with a 13 land deck. All right, that's it. Keep storming, y'all. See you next time.